Hello colleagues, let me introduce myself. My name is Igor Borodovsky. I'm a sales and support engineer of Foodor Fernandes team. Our customers often ask us about how to create their own materials, how to work with materials in general, and so on. This video will give you the answer to these and many other questions. In order to understand how to work with materials in Woodwork for Inventory, you need to clearly understand the workflow. So we will dig into details and see what is what. In Woodwork for Inventory, 3D model is a single source of data for the entire process. It generates the data for bill of materials, drawings, or SNC programs. Let's find out how to design items in Woodwork for Inventory. It starts from a general shape. Then we add dimensions to define the exact size. Then, when we have a 3D object, we need to assign some type of materials. What those types mean? There is two groups of materials. Main materials, as well as the covers. Main materials defines how to calculate amount of materials. Profiles is measured along the length, solid wood, by the volume. All manufactured boards are measured by area. Besides that, they have differences in their processing. Once we define the type, we need to say what is the physical role of this laminated board in the model. In this case, it would be a facade. So, material groups defines what is the physical role of an item in a bomb. So, here we have a corpus, and we can mark it as a C1. Then we have some internal parts, as well as facade. Once we deal with the main materials, it's time to assign some covers. Cover material types is split in three main groups. There is edge bandings, paints, lacquers, and veneers. So in this case we are assigning the edge banding, and for uh, covers we can set its position. In this case it would be internal, which means that the workpiece for this part will be a little bit smaller by the thickness of the edge banding. Once it's done we can set the grain direction. By default it goes along the longest edge, but we can change it if needed. It's time to assign some other size. As you can see on this picture, the green box illustrates the normal workpiece, but we added some extra material, which is shown in a yellow. As you can see from this part of video, different appearances doesn't change geometry. So for the design part, geometry is way more important than appearance. Of course, the next step would be to connect those generalized materials with real materials and codes. We can split our design workflow in two main steps. Design, bomb. On the design, we are working with generalized materials, as you already saw. In the bomb, we change those to some real materials. Like in this case, we can have style A, which is walnut, oak, and cedar, as well as we can have style B, which is birch, cherry, and pine, and so on. So we can have as many styles as needed. So how it happens in woodwork? In woodwork, we realize this functionality through material replacement. There is no need to do changes in CAD, and we can have different bumps by simply changing those appearance on or material codes and names. What is more important, we can get the replacement data from Excel document, which can be placed on the shaded folder. Once it's done, the data can be transferred to a bomb, so we can have the same names and codes in the bill of material, as well as in the drawings. We can have the shape, annotations, and in a title block we can have all the data from the material replacement joined with the geometrical dimensions. Moreover, on the CNC, we can have material codes and names as a comment. So, how it works in general, let's see the whole picture. It starts from the modeling. On the modeling, we are working with generalized materials like facades and bodies. We don't know actually what those materials would be. Then, we run material replacement, which gets the data from ERP system. So, we utilize the same codes and names as we use in ERP. Then, we generate the bill of material, which can be sent back to ERP system for the next steps. And as you already saw, replacement is used to generate data for the drawings, as well as for the CNC. And all those can be sent to the PDM, for instance, for the Autodesk wall. Now let's compare the way of working with materials. Traditionally, we are working with real materials at the beginning, which makes it quite complicated. In woodwork, we are focusing on design instead. Traditionally, we have one long list of the materials. In woodwork, those are grouped by their types. There is no grouping by the material row in traditional approach, but in woodwork we get material groups, which says what this material actually does in your model. Usually there is no manufactured wood in traditional systems. However, in woodwork we get those like laminated boards, multi-layer boards and composites. Usually there is a quite complicated question about how to exchange data with ERP. We manage this quite easy. And we have static database versus dynamic. 
what this one means. Static database means that you need to create data in CAD, which is quite complicated. In Woodwork, we manage those materials in BOM. Traditionally, you need to keep data current again in CAD system. In Woodwork, we use data from Excel document. There is a need to synchronize ERP codes, and in Woodwork, manage this by providing a summary with exact ERP codes and names. If you need to change your model colored, you need to do this on a CAD system, traditionally. In Woodwork, you can only change a material scheme in BOM. Now let's summarize Woodwork for Inventor benefits. First of all, we get single ERP database, which goes all around the system. It means that there is no need to create materials in CAD. You can dynamically change the data through Microsoft Excel documents. And you get the same ERP codes, names, and CAD output in drawings, POM, and CNC. You manage a design and focus on geometry. There is generalized materials, there is type and groups. Later, you run material replacement to set real codes and names. And finally, if you decide to change a color solution, there is no need to do this in CAD. Instead, you can do changes in Woodwork BOM. I hope this video makes it easier to understand how we're working with materials in Woodwork for Inventor. And we will be happy to see you in our social media channels. Thank you very much. Good luck. Bye-bye.